Hello. So I'm here to recount the tale of my third Taylor Swift concert. So I'm sure that you guys heard me complaining about um, my discovery that my back to school night for my new job, of which I'm still like on probation, was the same night as the Taylor Swift concert. Now, back to school night was 6.30 to 8, and the Taylor Swift concert started at the 7. So I just kept thinking to myself, there's no possible way this could be happening to me. Like, I'm, I'm dreaming. This isn't real. This isn't real. It was very real and horrifying, and I was too shocked and saddened to even cry because I don't know how to make that decision. Like, how do you choose between Taylor Swift and your future? So I decided that I could have it all. So what happened was that as soon as we were dismissed from our little tables at back to school night, I ran, or um, jaunted perhaps, up to my classroom, grabbed my purse, changed my shoes into shoes that I could run in, and drove the really roughly 40 miles to the arena. And not to brag or anything, but I left my classroom about five minutes after eight and I got to my seats at the arena. Five minutes to nine. What? Yeah. yeah. Uh, <clears throat> and I was thrilled to find out when I arrived. She, she had just started playing red and I could hear it as I'm waiting for the security lady to just check my damn purse and scan my ticket so I can get to my seats. Uh, she don't only, she'd only played two songs at that point. I only missed two songs. So for anybody who tells you that you can't have it all, you can't be an adult and a Taylor Swift fan, you just tell them. You tell them my story. I did it. <laughs> and it was definitely worth it, obviously. Uh, the red tour is it's definitely like a more adult feel and it was kind of uh, like quirky in like a darker way because there's like circus performers and that was very strange. And she does like this kind of like doo-wop version of You Belong With Me which was intriguing. And uh, what was cool is that Gary Lightbody, she just like whipped him out and she's like, hey, I've never performed this song the last time live because, you know, Gary's never with me, but surprise, I have Gary Lightbody with me. And I was like, what? Yes. And I was way more excited than the 13 year old girls to either side of me. I'm like, ladies. And they didn't know all of the words to all of the songs. And I was like, why are you here? Like they were like sitting down during Treacherous. And I was like, I'm sorry, what? What? Anyway, um, <laughs> it was just awesome. I'm going to show off my souvenir. Um, I didn't even really know what this was when I saw it at the merch booth. I just knew that it was a giant pretty book, which, duh, I'm already there. And then it had Taylor Swift's face on it. And I was like, how can I not purchase this pretty book with Taylor Swift's face on it? So um, essentially, it's just pretty pictures of Taylor Swift with lyrics. <laughs> Heck yeah. Um, so I brought that home with me. And I did almost get into a fist fight um, in the merch line. But what ifs? It all worked out. And I had a magical night of listening to Taylor Swift. <laughs> okay, bye.